the international company for extraterrestrial prisoner transport, the strongest, safest, and simply strangest company in the entire illegal genetic experiment containment business. Intercept headquarters is located on Earth in a place called Area 51. Area 51 is a complete mystery to the public and is suspected of holding many alien specimens. Well, the public is right. Area 51 is home to some of the scariest and strangest creatures in the entire universe, and it, and it is our job to transport them. We can help you, Grand Councilman, by taking these dangerous genetic experiments and safely transporting them to our extremely secure prison on asteroid 3 Juno in the asteroid belt, which is 154,926,283 miles away from Earth. Throughout the trip, which is 10 days long, we'll be traveling at an average speed of 430,350 miles per hour. Our trip begins on Earth. Earth, looking at the entire universe, is extremely small. It is part of the Milky Way galaxy, which is one of the billions of galaxies within the universe. The Milky Way is a spiral galaxy, which means that it has a flat disk shape, and the stars and gas clouds are concentrated in spiral-shaped arms. Other types of galaxies include elliptical galaxies, more three-dimensional galaxies without much structure, in which stars orbit randomly around the center, and irregular galaxies, galaxies that were most likely once spiral or elliptical but collided with other galaxies, making them irregularly shaped. They usually orbit bigger galaxies, for example, the Magellanic Cloud galaxies orbit the Milky Way. On our trip, we will not pass any galaxies besides our own because we are staying in the Milky Way. However, the closest large galaxy to us is the Andromeda Galaxy, which is also a spiral galaxy. The ship is programmed to automatically identify any galaxy we pass by analyzing its shape. Within every galaxy are billions of stars, which are flaming balls of gas, mainly hydrogen and helium, that all have different sizes, temperatures, and colors. On our trip, we will only be seeing one star, the Sun. The sun is of average size and temperature. Stars can be anything from bluish white to darkish red. The blue white stars are the hottest and the red ones are the coolest, but still extremely hot. Our ship is programmed to recognize stars with its built-in HR diagram and star map. Our ship also recognizes when we are getting too close to a very hot star, since our ship cannot get warmer than 3000 degrees Fahrenheit because it would melt. Since it would take a long time to pass by the larger stars, we would have to stay farther away to ensure that the ship does not overheat. Passing by small stars, it would not take as long, so we will not have to alter the course as much. Our ship can reach speeds of over 600,000 miles per hour, so it is easy to reach certain stars and pass them by. Stars have different levels of brightness, so the ship will have to alter itself depending on what kind of star is being passed. When passing a smaller star, such as one of the white dwarfs, a thin layer of tinted glass will spread over every window windshield or area where the outdoors are visible. When passing by a red or blue giant or supergiant, a very thick layer of the same material will spread over every clear area. The ship will navigate itself since the pilots will be unable to see and will return control to the pilot after the star has safely passed us by. We will only pass by one star, the sun, but our ship is prepared to handle everything from white dwarfs, which are small but extremely hot, and red giants, which are enormous but not as hot as the blue giants, which are huge and searing hot. Our ship is programmed to identify the star by factoring in its size, heat, and brightness. These different kinds of stars are formed when clouds of dust and gas collapse under their own weight. When this occurs, the density and temperature increase and are highest at the center of the cloud, where the star will be formed. A supernova is when one of these many kinds of stars explodes, creating more energy than an average star, like the sun, will create in its entire lifetime. It will then fade away over the course of a few months. Some these are regions in space in which gravity prevents nothing from escaping, not even light. In black holes, gravity has become so extreme that it overwhelms everything around it. The stars in our galaxy, in all galaxies, can be formed into shapes called constellations. One of these constellations is Orion. Orion is made of seven stars, Betelgeuse, Rigel, Mintaka, Alnilam, Alnatak, and Saif. Another constellation is the Big Dipper, which is composed of Juby, Merak, Facta, Megrez, Aloyeth, Mazar, and Alcade. Another constellation is Leo containing Regulus, Denebola, Algeba, Zosma, Adafera, Iota Leonis, and Tau Leonis. 
Nebula is also an important component of the universe. There are huge clouds of gas and dust where new stars are being formed. Our ship will not have to pass through this since we are staying inside our solar system. However, our ships are designed to withstand almost anything. Throughout our trip, we will also pass by several asteroids, comets, and meteoroids. Asteroids are rock pieces that can be a wide range of sizes and reflect sunlight. Many of them are condensed into a belt between Mars and Jupiter called the asteroid belt. Comets are different from asteroids in that they are made of ice, dust, and gases and have a tail that shines from its own heat. Meteoroids are very small rocks and particles. When these enter Earth's atmosphere, they become meteors. When they touch the ground, they become meteorites. Our ship can defend itself from all of these dangerous objects because of its cameras and sensors that alert the pilots of potentially dangerous projectiles long before they make impact so that the pilots have plenty of time to steer clear of any hazards. Intercept ships are designed to be beyond secure and beyond strong. Nothing can get in and nothing can get out unless we allow it. Our transport business is the best of the best, and we will surely solve all your previous transport issues. The experiments are securely locked in cells identical to those of the prison, so everyone on board will be safe.